In this episode, I'll help you elevate your gameplay with something called planning. Welcome to the, I think, 62nd, haha, <laughs> um, 62nd Lotus Lab video. Today, we're going to be talking about something that I realize not many players actually do. And it's as simple as planning. That means that many players actually start around without something in their mind of what they want to achieve this game. I'm going to mute the notification so you guys waste points. <laughs> so, whenever you start the round, definitely on, a spec, uh, on attack is something that you need to uh, be aware of, is that every single round when the barrier drops, you need to already know what you want to achieve in that round. For example, when I play Gecko on Bind, my goal in most of the attack rounds is to get shower control. And if I want to get shower control to farm the orb and be, sh be certain that we have it for the round, actually just, you know, the shower control is very important for, th for the actual execute. It typically go late from showers when the execute is coming from, uh, from short. Um, I'm going to have like a set play or two set plays I'm going to be using to make sure that I can get effectively that space there, right? And when I was VOD reviewing a lot of players, you know, ranging from like silver to immortal, so it doesn't really matter which rank are you, but many times I see a player standing out, like jumping around, I don't know, talking with friends in the fucking chat or something. I just demonetize my, demonetize my video, I think. Um... And they, like, jump around without thinking what they want to do this round. So when the barrier drops, they're just like, oh, uh, now I'm thinking what to do. This is very visible when someone is playing, like, a Killjoy or a, or a Cypher, and they have nothing set up when the barrier drops. That just means you're bad at, at the character, and you should fix that. But let's make an example. So... Left. Let's say I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna do that shower play, right? So in my mind, I try to visualize the goal. The goal is to get orb and then have the control in this space of the corridor. So how do I want to achieve that? I figure it out. I'm gonna use two pieces of utility for this, and it's gonna be wingman and flash at the same time. Now, how do I do that to maximize my chances of success? So I'm, I have two options. I either do wingman first and then flash, and I do it in a way that is gonna bounce and clear a lot of corners, right? Or maybe I'll just hold the corner over here for a bit to see if someone is speaking, or maybe I'll go first like forward and be aggressive, right? All of that I'm trying to make like and visualize in my head before the barrier goes up. So when the barrier goes up, I already know what I want to do. So when the barrier goes down, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be a growth this round. I'm gonna do the wingman to take control. I'm gonna support the wingman with a flash and now I'm taking the space here. Everything is cleared. Wingman didn't get anything. I get the orb. And if I'm alone, I'm going to be a little bit more conscious about the angle still here, right? To retrieve my orbs. But if someone is here with me, then I'm asking him to hold the angle while I retrieve the orbs. And we get these, this location for free, right? And that thing that you, that you try to make this plan in your head before the barrier drops is like half of the success. Because when you do that, you also build a habit of either making a plan doing and then executing that plan so you get better at it with practice and you can like see oh this time this wasn't the best because my utility was too late and someone was able to pick me before i was like ready or something like that all of that is is always helpful you will learn from every single situation right and the same goes let's say i'm gonna be playing um brimstone on defense 30 seconds left um wait Boop. Drink some water, reload your Let's say I'm playing Brimson on defense and I'm playing on B. I want to get some early control and since Brimstone is actually a little bit more weak on the utility size side, right? You have what? Smokes and a molly. That's essentially it. That's not a lot. Like like it's also molly takes time to act to, to get activated. So typically you're not gonna achieve much. But Let's say I'm playing on bind with a friend or with randoms and I see that I have someone with me on site. Let's say it's a sky. And then I make a plan before the, before the barrier drops, I'm going to take long control. Why? Because I want to get the orb and I want to control the space aggressively and deny the space for my opponents. How do I achieve that? Before the barrier drops, I'm going to think, where do I want to put my smoke? So I'm going to put my smoke aggressively over here, which allows me then to hold this angle, right? when my opponents are going to be peeking into the unknown. And I ask, for example, 
a sky to flash first tempo to clear this space so we get the opportunity of putting that smoke without being pushed so then we can control right so i just do this and i have the space and i can either just play normal angle over here or an off angle and always tp to showers if i have if i'm in danger right remember you can like if you feel like your opponents are now using utility to push through the smoke then you just do this and all of that you have to be pre-planning right you have to pre-planning that this is something that is so important you opening up your mind to a plan and then also communicating that plan to your teammates allows you to be more effective and even if you don't have a teammate you know what I, like for example let's say we're making a stack four players on a and i'm only player on b before the barrier drops i'm thinking about it how do i play alone on b all right so if we do a stack on A, that means I want to push away my opponents into the A side. So I need to do as much pressure as possible to push them away from B. And when I when I understand the goal, right, because that's my goal right now, I'm going to use my utility accordingly to that. How can I achieve that? So I'm thinking, okay, so I'm going to go for aggressive smokes in front of uh, hookah like this. And the aggressive smoke on long. And I don't need any support here. Like, at all. I'm just gonna insta-smoke those two positions. Right? Because they build up pressure. I'm gonna molly instantly as well. To, like, make sure that the opponent's thinking that we're being aggressive or something. Maybe Steam Beacon to make a lot of noise. And this makes enough pressure to my stack maybe have a success. Because I will push away most like the players from B into a because they're thinking we're pushing right um the other option would be to play retake on b and if it's retake on b well then i just play on on here and when i hear utility being used on on uh, on areas like hookah or on long i'm just gonna smoke passively get try to get one kill and then hide right but all of that you need to know before you start the round. You can't figure that out during the round because the things that you have to think about during the round are the, the aspects or the consequences of the round affecting your game plan. So your game plan is being affected by what is happening in the round, but not the other way around. You do the plan first and then see what is the pushback from your opponents, right? Or the pushback from your teammates sometimes. But in general, you need to visualize your goal and your plan and figure out that plan before the barrier drops, right? And if I'm a Cypher player, I can guarantee you that I have my setup every single time figured out before the barrier drops. I already know what I want to do with the camera. I already know what I want to put the traps. I, all of that is already done before the barrier drops. And if you want to actually see a good example of that, I did a vote review here on the channel in the coaching playlist. Um, Cypher on Lotus. I think there's only one vote like that. Make sure to watch it. It was pretty recent. Um, that player was very, very... Like, he's mechanically pretty good. But the fact that he never had a setup ready but when the barrier, barrier drops, he was literally late 20 seconds to anything that was happening on attack. That's, like, one of the biggest problems. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something today. And see you guys around. Bye-bye.